This time on Street Rent Garage, we're still working on the 1968 Volkswagen bus. So we're back here working on the bus and I was finally able to find that big 46 millimeter socket. I had to go to Northern Tools in order to get this. Harbor Freight didn't have it, none of the hardware stores had it. Apparently you can't just walk into any place and ask for a 46 millimeter socket. So we got that. We're going to take these wheels off and see what we have going on as far as brake issues. Ugh. These tires are quite dry rotted as well. It's got a lot of brake fluid right there. And we have a lot of brake fluid. Where? It's even on top. Why is it on top? Mm, but a lot of brake fluid there. And there. I guess it's on top because it was on the other side of the rim and maybe just drip down there I don't know but let's see if we can't get this big socket this big nut off okay we got it all set up here this is a chrome socket not an impact socket but you really think it wouldn't matter that much with a casting that is this big so hopefully we won't split this socket in two Well, that's strike one. Not coming off. Uh, breaker bar. Okay. Yeah, well, that didn't work either just sort of spinning the other wheel there. So I'll have to think this one out a minute. That took some effort, but as long as you have a big enough lever, you can move the world. Now let's have a look and see what we have going on inside. Well, the first thing we have going on inside is, uh, these are the brake liners. They shouldn't be there inside the drum so that's one let's have a look over here and see what else we have oh it's a little bit dark but i think you can see this is where the brake liners go apparently uh been sitting a little bit too long and uh this would be the cause of our leak this whole wheel cylinder just sort of 
expanded and blew out. So at least we know we're getting the pressure there. So it looks like we need a brake job. We're gonna spray all this stuff, all this stuff down, take her apart, and put her back together. Fun. I I hate drum brakes. Let's spray some of this goop off of here. Oh, stinks. That smells bad. Oh, we got a lot going on there. Might have to take these drums down and have them turned. That would be the smart thing to do. Except for the fact I'm not really interested in taking that other side off. But I should. So I might. It definitely needs to be turned down. I mean, it's got a lot of meat on it. So. We shouldn't have to order new ones. We can reuse these. Use what we got. Have them turned down. Put some new pads on it. Shoes. New shoes on it. Turn the drums, wheel cylinder, spring kit, so slack adjusters. Get that going. I would say soak everything inside, but the slack adjusters are the only thing we're going to keep. So just soak that down real good and tear it all apart. So if you're a Volkswagen guy, you will know that you always have boxes of parts you don't always know what they go to but uh oftentimes Volkswagen parts are all about the same and this is just a leftover wheel cylinder and it really looks like it'll fit on here I'm not 100% for sure because I've never owned a 68 bus before but I have owned a lot of Volkswagens and they always come with spare parts. And when I sell the Volkswagen, I usually hang on to the spare parts. So let's see if we get lucky and this fits in there. It's close. I don't think it's exactly the same, but it's definitely close. And then we got brake pads that came off of, I don't know, not came off of, but were intended for something else. And I don't know. These look a little shorter. We have more. Just like have boxes and stuff. Got these. It may work. I'll have to take some measurements. Oh, there's some more. These two, these are definitely way smaller. These are for probably a 50s model. Probably go on my 56. We'll figure something out. <clears throat> well, just got everything disassembled. Here is the old wheel cylinder. It's kind of short and stubby. Seems like it's smaller than this one, or it's just because I. Uh, have the boots off. I'm not sure. I pull these boots back, it's still just a little bit stubbier. So may have to just order another stud, stud, another um, wheel cylinder. We're definitely going to have to order some new brake shoes because the brake shoes I have are shorter than those as well. So I don't think any of this is going to go together. I mostly had beetles, so these are mostly beetle parts, and I guess uh, it's not going to transfer over to the bay window bus. So, looks like we're going to have to put some of this together, clean some more of it up, and order some parts. I'm going to take the other side apart, see what we have there, and uh, start ordering. Another thing I like to do here is... Uh, remove these slack adjusters I already busted them free with a screwdriver just get in there and clean everything up 
and slide it all back together so later you can come in there and spin those guys around and put some shit it pops right out i'm gonna put i'm gonna put some bearing grease in there instead of just some pb blaster because the pb blaster is going to dry up but uh yeah these don't look too bad so clean these guys up clean all this up order some parts and then get to putting it back together all right it's time for the other side and um i don't know if this is reverse thread on this or not i was kind of wondering about what they did back in the day but we're gonna find out real quick let's get our super cheater bar on here and see what we can do yep. uh, that came off real easy that was unusual but uh it's a little bit different on this side it has a different nut on it it looks smaller it's the same diameter but this uh this nut here is not the same i mean it's still a 47 millimeter it just comes right off of there i don't know if that's good or bad so one of these is a different nut see this one here and on this side Look at the difference. I mean, that's over twice as big as this one. So one of these is wrong, I uh, just assume. So, hmm. But this works, so uh, if it works, it must be right. Now let's get in here and see what it looks like on the inside. that guy let's see if this just pulls right off which I guess not it was a lot easier on the other side that part of it was oh. Oh, moved a little bit Come on. The rock. Okay, that's yeah, on there. Take a couple nuts, bolts. Still no. Okay, need a bigger hammer. Almost. It's a hung up one. Brake shoes. Look. That was brilliant. Shoved it all the way back in there. Oh, this is a struggle. Why was the other side easy? that's working there it goes <laughs> same thing on that side just not as uh, much brake fluid inside okay 
the emergency brake is disconnected and we seem to be missing oh there's a a bar that goes in there that the emergency brake connects to so that's gone which not that big a deal i mean emergency brakes are overrated but uh i'm gonna go ahead and order another one of these cylinders i'm wondering if this was even working to begin with uh, doesn't look like much was going on there so it probably wasn't expanding we probably have a clogged line somewhere oh lovely okay well i'm gonna take this side apart and then put the hub back on so i can roll it back in the garage until i get the parts ordered in so anytime i'm messing with drum brakes i like to take some pictures so get the springs the slack adjuster i would be taking a picture of the emergency brake how it's hooked up but it's not there um, here's a spring it's just laying there so that's not going to give us much reference but i think on the other side it went oh there's supposed to be two springs so both both those springs are missing so where's here it is here's the other one just laying here but we got two broken springs there we'll just take a couple of that spring now, I took pictures of the other side. I can also reference those for this side since we don't know where the springs go, but I believe it was in the middle here and goes to this side. But by the time we get the springs in, I will have forgotten that. But we have the pictures to refer back to. So always take pictures of your springs. Yeah, okay. And what's also missing is that that one cap that holds the uh the shoes down neither one of those are on there either so this is pretty much the whole entire side is junk and this is all dust these aren't so bad but definitely probably not working because this is all rust on this side. Should kind of shoot out like that. Oh, that one got away. It rolled down the driveway. Uh, yeah, it's all nasty inside of there. There's a little bit of brake fluid, but not as much as there should be inside of a wheel cylinder. Definitely not working. So, uh, slack adjusters. Frozen. Frozen. So, where did I put that WD or PV blaster? Here it is. Gonna spray that down a little bit, a lot of it. We're going to hit these guys. Not moving. Not moving. Nothing. Turn inside of it, but the outside is supposed to turn as well. That works. That one turns, but we got to get these to turn on the outside. They do not want to do so I'm just gonna spray them down some more maybe I should try to take these out I'm gonna take this one side out Take this guy out. Now I have access to the inside. Yeah. 
and my phone is making noises. That's nice. Uh, and I'm gonna fill this up with PB Blaster and screw that guy back in there. And we're gonna let him sit for a while. We'll come back to that when we're ready to put the brakes back together and hopefully it'll be lubed up good enough that it'll come out. If not, we're gonna have to put some heat to that and get it out. So, yeah. I'm gonna go order parts. I'm gonna put this back together. I really need to take these to have them turned, but I'm gonna put it back in the garage, put it back together, put it back in the garage, then jack it up, take it apart in the garage, and put it on jack stands so it's not sitting out here because I still haven't fixed the roof panels and it's gonna rain again. So yep, let's get this put back together again. I'm just gonna throw the hub back on here. Put the nut back on here and put the wheel back on here and roll it back into the garage for the night. I'm gonna clean up this mess and we will come back when we have parts to put back on this. Okay, next day and I'm back again. So all the brake parts are on order. They'll be in here three days to a week. I ordered from some different places. So some of them come from Amazon. Some of them come from the bus depot, uh, the backing plate, few other the spring kit a few other things I had to get from the bus depot because you know where are you gonna find a backing plate for a 1968 bus in the meantime I got two handles to uh, hold on to the bottom of the bed here to help me pull it out make it a lot easier because I didn't cut any hand holds into this new plywood that I put in here and it's making it difficult to hold pull the bed in and out so that and we need to put some plywood down here on the floor so we can put the carpet down. So that's what we're going to do until we get the brake parts in. We're going to go ahead and take this seat out, put some um, plywood down so we have something to put the carpet on. So uh, I think these normally came, the campers came with like a, a plywood base on them because that's what I found underneath of it. It was all rotted. If you looked in where we cleaned this out, there was nothing but rotted plywood on the bottom of the floor. Uh, so I believe that, and it was all the way under, under all the cabinets, everything. So I believe that's what goes on the base of these things. I mean, if you know, correct me if I'm wrong, tell me in the comments if I'm right, I don't know. But let's get started. Let's put some plywood down. So the first thing we have to do is take this jump seat out. I'm going to have to be careful with it because the base is not very good. And uh, it can just crumble and fall apart. I really probably ought to make a new base for this. There is not much there at all. Look at the back of this. This thing is just it's falling apart. Now we need to vacuum the base out again. Already measured and cut a piece for this so let's just get it laid in here this up a little bit. 
needs a little trimming right here. I didn't take into account that this juts out a little bit. Juts out. Jets. Is it jets out or is it juts out? I don't know. We got to trim this right here. I already got it this far. I'm not going to take it back out. Plus it's stuck, so I need about an inch here. That is working awful. Damn it. No, don't let me lose a finger. There it goes right in a place. Yeah, well, there she is. It's in there. Now I'm just gonna run a couple sheet metal screws to keep the ends down here from flopping up. And then we'll put some carpet on there staple that down and that should look a lot better the board's in so that's going to give us a good base to put down our carpet this um this is just indoor outdoor carpet that i got from the local big box hardware store six foot by eight foot section that cost me like twenty dollars twenty five dollars something like that um just good enough to cover this bare board here and give it a, a look of kind of completion but not really so uh, yeah I'm just gonna measure this cut this out with the old razor blade then I'm gonna tack it in with the old staple gun and uh, you can have a look when I'm done okay I'm just gonna get this thrown in here I might not even measure this I might just try to throw it in here and just run along the edges with the razor blade see how that works okay it is definitely a lot more than I need but for the price you can't beat it so yeah I'm just gonna run the razor blade where I need it and uh, tuck the rest in and staple it down that should do the trick. Where's the razor blade? I lost it. Nope, there it is. There it is. Okay, let's move this out a little bit. I want it to go underneath here. And I have to get by this section, so I'm just gonna get a little slice. Can you see that? I hope so. A little slice there. And then I might be able to tuck some of this up under, maybe. Now, I'm going to cut across here a little bit. It cuts really easy. I'm just going to cut across the front. Oh, this is a mess. It's getting hot cutting some extra better to cut too much than not enough cut too much is that right cut too much or it's better to cut not enough or it's better to cut short than long or long than short or it's just better to cut so you have extra. There you go. It's better to cut that you have extra. And this is it's getting intense. There we go. Okay. Got all this extra. Didn't get a piece right here.
There we go. Got all this extra we could do something with. Okay, I'm just gonna take my screwdriver and try to poke it under beneath this couch section here. All right. See, that looks pretty good right through there. So I'm gonna go and staple that down real quick. Right, got my staple gun here. Just gonna hit this in a few spots. Spot there, there. There. Mm, whoops, I missed. I missed again. And there. Missed a couple of those. Where's my hammer? I'm going to tap those in a little bit. So you can't see them. There they go. Disappear right into the woodwork. That one didn't go in. One more here. There you go. And there it is. Can't even see the staples I put in there. Okay, I just about got it all stapled in here. Just putting a few more staples around the border. everything in place that ought to do it we'll have a look at that real quick okay so boards in screwed down carpets in stapled down everything's tucked into the corners here so uh, yeah it's uh, nice and solid in there and it looks uh, quite a bit better so all that we really have to do um, maybe rebuild that jump seat that goes there and uh, we got to put the handles on here they'll go under here make it easier to pull the bed out and um yeah that looks uh definitely looks a lot better in that form okay next up are handles for the bed these are just like a dollar at menards uh Super cheap, comes with hardware. I'm not even gonna measure. I'm just ramrodding them in there. There's one screw. Hopefully this will be even enough. I mean, you can't really see the handle when it's down. There's another one. This other handle over here. about there and about there there it is we have a couple handles Oops. there you go just pick up on that move that like that pull out like that oh yeah that is way easier and your bed is made and ready to sleep in you do have to pick up on the back side of this so there we go still a little stiff work that oil in and there's your sofa again so yeah handles work nice carpet looks good I'm just going to put this leg on the table and um, we need to we need to reupholster this jump seat that goes right here but we'll save that for another time that's going to be a whole rebuild there okay before it gets too dark here i'm going to put the leg back on now this leg there's a strap right here so the leg goes down at an angle this is uh this is on a slider about I don't know six inch slider so in order to keep everything underneath this table they put it at an angle so I'm just uh, gonna strap it in first 
and then you can see where the old screws were right about there so I got my Harbor Freight wood screws out again and we'll just run a couple of these actually four of these and whoops and I dropped one in through the old hose there these screws are probably a little bit bigger, so they should hold. I don't know why this was taken out to begin with, but uh, we're going to reattach it here real quick. There we go. Just like that. And I'll run those others in there and show you what that looks like. Okay, we're back. Now it's getting dark, but this is how it works. It just attaches there slides out bam you are done you have a table and then when you're ready to go you just simply fold it up slide it up strap it back down and it folds down out of the way quick and easy and come compact that's what it looks like folded down and lastly, this is with a jump seat back in that we'll replace later. Table, the couch, all our carpet. And uh, yeah, it looks, looks nice and cozy. Okay, so we're back in here for the night and we have the upholstery done. The, well, we have this upholstery done. We have the carpet done. We got the leg back on the table. We got the brakes apart, parts, are on order and they will be in here in the next few days so we're gonna have to take a break from this and move on to another project just temporarily until we get some more parts to work on this one but uh all in all i say today was a good day so that's gonna wrap it up for this episode of street right garage until next time